Yo, what's up, Colonial Kid? <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Yo, what's up, Colonial Kids? Okay. All right, let's try this one more time. Yo, what's up, Colonial Kid? <laughs> Guys, come on, let's do this. Yo, what's up, Colonial Kids? We're so excited to see you today. Um, why don't you stand up wherever you are and let's worship together. don't like spiders. They're really scary. Hello everybody. My name is Andy. Hi Andy. Andy. What's, What's that? that? I'm reading the world's scariest animals. Can I let you into a little secret? Yes. yes. Uh, it's a bit silly. Tell us. It's just that I don't like spiders. Yeah. Well, you see, spiders have hairy bodies and they have creepy crawly legs. Man, they're so gross. One time, I was walking underneath a tree and a spider web whacked me in the face and the spider web went into my mouth, my hair. Ugh, it was so disgusting. If I saw a spider, I'd probably scream. Look behind you! Whoa! <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness, 
Spiders are really, really gross. <laughs> Who's there? It better not be a spider. It's me, Max. Hey, what's so funny? You. Spiders are nice. No, they're not. They're big, they're gross, and they've got eight legs. Look in your book. Although spiders may look scary, they do a lot of good for the world. They catch and eat other bugs to make sure we don't have too many flies or ants or grasshoppers. They have a special job and are an important part of the way God has created the earth. Spiders are helpful. Wow, you're right. Thanks, Max. I guess the more we know, the better we understand. Like. The more we know God and how big and great and safe He is, we don't need to be scared anymore. Sometimes the things we are afraid of, we make up in our mind. We imagine something and even though it isn't real, we can become afraid. God helps us overcome that fear. He is more real than anything we could ever imagine and will defeat fear. This story from the life of Jesus is a very important one. Probably convinced his disciples that he was the Son of God more than anything else Jesus had done. Now Jesus has sent his disciples ahead of him in a boat to cross the Sea of Galilee, a huge freshwater lake. They start rowing, but soon get stuck in a storm that drives them across the lake, away from where they wanted to row. Then out in the distance, they see what looks like a ghost walking on the water. This is terrifying to a bunch of very tired sailors who were all crying out for help. But right away, Jesus called out to them, Be brave. It is I. Don't be afraid. Phew, it's just Jesus. Wait a minute. He's walking on water? How? Uh, wait, what? All of these questions are running through their minds, but only one spoke up back to Jesus. Lord, is it you? Peter asked. If it is, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, Jesus said. So Peter gathered his courage, took a step of faith, got out of the boat and began walking on the water toward Jesus. Okay, so now we have two people walking on water in the storm. The others would have barely been able to believe their eyes. Peter took his eyes off Jesus just for a moment and looked across the water at the wind and the waves and began to wobble a little, then sink a little. His fear got the best of him and he called out to Jesus, Lord, save me! Jesus immediately reaches out his hand and catches Peter. As they climb into the boat together, the storm calms down. Every one of the disciples in that boat begin to worship Jesus, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. And it was clear that the trust and the faith that Peter had in Jesus was strong, and it gave him the courage to do amazing things. Sometimes life feels a bit stormy, and I don't know about you, but I can feel scared when there are big problems or big things to face or big scary stuff ahead. When God is with us, we can say, fear, get out of here. When the disciples were in that boat, in that big storm, oh, they must have been really scared. But Jesus was with them, so everything was all right. Jesus said, shh to the waves, shh to the storm, shh to the fear deep inside until everything was peaceful again. They knew because Jesus was with them, they didn't have to be afraid. And hey, we don't either. Jesus is with us. So we can also say, fear, get out of here. Faith in God.
God defeats fear. Ooh. Faith in God defeats fear? Ha <laughs> ha. Faith in God defeats fear. Yeah.